Well, I write just when I'm inspired. It's why it's taken me a long time to write the book, because I wasn't thinking I was writing a book. I was just writing poems whenever they came to me. So it's literally based on little moments of inspiration and then just seeing where that took me. So it's not planned, it's not pre-planned, it's not anything thought through. It's moments of inspiration that literally get down on the page in 20 minutes. So it's quite nice that way. I'm not working to a schedule. I'm not having to create on the spot. It's just whenever something strikes me, which is really, feels very natural. Nature certainly is a, a key element because a lot of what I'm writing about is reflecting about family and home and I'm from the Lake District and so nature is a key part of for anyone who, who comes from the lakes so that the fells and the and the lakes and the rivers themselves and all well, it's just so beautiful and the seasons that you get to witness up there are so dramatic that I think when I reflect on on what makes me me and what really sort of touches me a lot of that is about nature and the landscape that I was brought up in so um, yeah it is really important and I do sort of think as a northerner as well it's one of those if you're a northerner you never quite lose that and, and a lot of that is to do with the connection with nature somehow I think we feel it more than than perhaps people who are brought up in towns and cities. It's a bit like asking me what music I like and that I have very eclectic tastes and the same goes for writing. I'm not actually a big reader of poetry, bizarrely, though there are some pieces that have, that have stuck with me over the years. In terms of novels and things, I, I, you know, I like crime drama, I like, um, I'm mean, big into the, into the Jack Lee Child's Jack Reacher series that I'm listening to on Audible at the moment, so I'm really into all of that sort of thing. Uh, Richard Castle books, which is a spin-off from a TV show. So all this sort of, bizarrely, fantasy sort of stuff is, is what I like to read, which is sort of the exact opposite of what I'm writing, which is all about realism and real life and, and, and real feelings. So it's a, I guess I'm a bit eclectic like that. But I do like a bit of escapism. I think that's partly to do with the job, because obviously my job is very real and often very grim in what we're talking about. So I think that sort of escapism into goodies and baddies and the, get, the good guys always win in the end sort of thing is, is, is sort of reassuring. And it's a nice switch off. I can turn my, my brain off for that. But, but oddly enough, not a huge poetry reader per se, but they're the, the odd bits that, that have stuck with me through the years. People say, don't they, that everyone's got a novel in them. Um, I don't think I've got a novel in me. I, thought, I like the idea of writing something like a novel. Um, I, I'm very aware that it's, a, it's an awful lot of work and the structure, the sort of mental structure you'd have to put in place, it isn't something that I'd be overly confident in doing. I admire people who can. I don't know that I could. So poetry is, is, is something I feel very comfortable with. Um, and is probably <laughs> what I would stick with, I think. I don't know that, that anything longer form is, would be in my repertoire, really. Though never say never, you never know. <laughs> uh, I, I sort of miss home. I mean, I'm up there quite a lot. Um, which is nice, and the, my family is still there, so I, I, you know, I get up, you know, quite a few times a year. Um, but it's funny. I mean, I don't live in London anymore as I used to, um, and that to me feels like down south. Uh, but I moved to the South Midlands seven or eight years ago, which is, and I actually live in an area which is very countryfied, which is as close to home. As, um, as I can get in that sense. So I don't miss it in the same way now that I actually live near fields and with birds in the back garden and all that sort of thing. So it doesn't, you know, I'm not missing it in that sense. But there will always be something special about the Lake District. I don't know if I would ever move back up there. I mean, I don't know, it's difficult to say. It's all based on how the job goes and, and, and what have you. Maybe to retire. I don't know. It's a bit wet and cold, that's the trouble. Um, but yeah, there's, there will always be an element of me which is a Cumbrian boy, and, and that's, that's very important. Whether I'd ever want to go back, I, I, I don't know. Permanently? Difficult to say. Uh, 
Love is the Beauty of the Soul is a quote from St. Augustine, which really um, struck with me so much so I had it tattooed on my ankle. Um, and so as a, as a result of that, that thought and also the tattoo, um, I, I really wanted to incorporate it into the book somehow. Um, and so it just it just struck me that when the, when that poem came through, it was I thought it was a, a poem that worked really nicely, and it would just seemed like the right sentiment for the book as a as a title because it is all about sort of honesty and, and goodness and what is right and, and, and what is wrong to an extent in how some people behave. So it seemed like the right title. Um, as it as for my favourite poem, I don't know. I'm, I'm torn, I change my mind every time I read them as to which is my favourite. Depends what mood I'm in. It's really nice to be published. It's the, the feeling of being published is very nice. It's nice to see the actual thing, I think, and the and the um, and the the cover as well, because that's a photograph that my brother took from the Lake District, which is really nice to see. Um, but also just being out there. I think the idea that something that you, that I've done in, in the sort of privacy of my own life resonates with other people and, and, and is liked by other people is, is quite rewarding actually, in a way I wasn't expecting. And there's been some, you know, lots of nice comments on Twitter and, and, um, and online. And, and that's, that's been really nice actually. Someone's having one of my poems read at her wedding and all these sort of things. <laughs> that's, it's a real surprise, but it's nice to know that some of what I feel is felt by other people as well. So it's, it's been a re really rewarding experience so far.